everybody and welcome to weekly strategic finance tips from the startup station. In this video, we're going to talk about what do investors look for in your financials? You know, many startups are uh, always wonder, do I need a financial model? Do I not need a financial model? What can I tell you, you know, when you're so early in the process? And, you know, of course, um, our position has always been that a financial model is a reflection of your business plan. So just like you need a business plan, you need a reflection of it in financial terms, which is a financial plan. So it really helps you to communicate with investors, get everybody on the same page and respond fast to market feedback. Uh, uh, but, you know, the information in the financial model is, of course, subject to change, right? So what do investors are specifically looking for in your financials, knowing that they will change, right? Knowing that the information itself may not be very accurate. So let's go over some questions and uh, I will give you some examples in terms of uh, how I see their thinking process. So when they ask, how are you marketing your product or services? What they wanna know is, do you understand how you're going to bring your product to market? Do you have a solid go-to-market strategy? Do you understand your business drivers, right? Do you understand um, which strategic decisions you need to make in order to get a certain result, right? In order to generate revenue. Can you really meet your revenue goals, right? If you are um, uh, building projections and they're not really linked to your go-to-market strategy and to how much capital you have, those goals are not necessarily, you know, unrealistic because maybe you can meet them. It's just not clear and it's not justifiable by the information that you're presenting. Um, if they ask, what are your customer acquisition costs or what is your customer lifetime value, right? What do they want to know? They want to see that you understand how much it would cost you to convert customers based on your strategy, right? What is your estimate, right? Do you have a strategy on converting your customers? If you don't, then that's a very uh, big problem. Will the capital you're asking for be sufficient to get you to the next milestone, right? Is your business financially feasible, right? So if your customer acquisition costs are greater than um, the customer lifetime value, which is the amount of money you're gonna make from one customer over uh, you know, their uh, interaction with, uh, with your company, then what are you doing, right? Then this business is not something that can be sustainable long-term. If they ask you, how long will it take you to become profitable or what is your burn rate? What do they wanna know? Are you creating a business that's profitable? If it's going to take you 10 years to be profitable, that's not a business they want to participate in. Typically, startup tech uh, business should be profitable within one or two years with certain exceptions. Will the capital you're asking for be sufficient, right? So look, they again want to know the same question. If they give you um, the amount of money that you are um, asking them for, what will you be able to do with that capital? How long is the, your runway, right? When is going to be the next time that you're going to uh, uh, be needing money and where your company is going to be in that stage in terms of revenues, costs, etc. What are the key metrics that your team is focused on, right? Do you have a, like, what they want to know with this question is it, do you have a clear growth strategy? Do you understand what defines success for your company? how to measure the effectiveness of your strategy, how to monitor your company's performance, right? These are all very important questions, but I guess what I want to stress is that the numbers themselves are less important than the logic behind the numbers, right? And the thinking that you put into uh, creating those numbers. And so what do investors really look for is a logic, a financial plan, right, that you can execute against, accountability and discipline. And what they do not like is high numbers you can't meet, right? They don't like numbers that come from nowhere, valuations you can't justify, financials, which overlook costs or key business drivers, right? So then you don't have a plan which can help you stay on track and which can help them realize a return on their investment. And here you go. Uh, if you like this video, please share with your friends and colleagues on social media. Sign up for our YouTube channel. 
for more strategic finance and financial modeling and other useful tips every day. Join us on Clubhouse every Thursday at 11 a.m. Search for Startup Station in order to join our community and sign up for our social media. If you want to learn more about our framework for modeling early stage startups, there is a free masterclass. The link is in the description on how to build credible financials for your venture. Thank you for listening and I will see you next week.